Hi, welcome to part four of common filter implementation for SIXDOF IMU. Uh, in the previous three videos, I started with MATLAB and I developed a, a simple gyro model and then we uh, did a complementary filter to estimate uh, roll and then we did a common filter to estimate roll and, and compared the two. Um, now, now we're going to go to the next step. We're going to get the common filter running in real time on an Arduino platform using an MPU 6050 IMU. So in part four, this is going to be a very short couple minute video uh, just explaining some background that needs to be done uh, and set up uh, before we get going in part five where we'll actually look at the Arduino common filter code. And then part six, we'll compare the common and the complementary filters and look at it, look at some performance in real time and some tuning parameters. So for part four, I'm starting with uh, Jupe Brookings MPU 6050 code uh, as the starting point. And what he does is implements a complementary filter running at 250 hertz on an Arduino and shows you how to do that. This is his website, uh, brooking.net and go to the imu.html. And what you'll find is uh, are two videos on the MPU 6050. And what he covers is initializing the IMU, uh, calibrating the gyro, and then setting up a complementary filter. So for part five, before we go to part five, the assignment for part five is to listen to Jupe's uh, two MPU 6050 videos. Go ahead and set up an MP MPU 6050 uh, with an Arduino for his video, and then become familiar with uh, the parts of his code. It's not that uh, long of a, of a code, but he's doing a lot of really interesting stuff. So that's it for part four. After you get that done, we'll uh, listen to part five, and we'll go ahead and, and set up the common filter in an Arduino. Thanks for watching.